If you are not focused in life, you can never achieve what God brought into this world to do. You will never grow. You will never prosper if you are not focused. Praise the Lord. Those of us that are not focused, we are very, very easily distracted. Somebody, why are you not in church? They are saying, ah, I'm discouraged. What happened? The way that person talked to me. So, a question I'm asking you is this. You go to market, they insult you. And tomorrow, you still go back to that market. Instead of you to close your shop and sell it off and go home because somebody quarreled you in the market. You are in, working in an office where you have a exchange of word with your colleague and next morning you rush again, refuse to go late. It's of you to resign. But when we come to church, we lose focus. Why are you not in church? I don't like the way those workers talk to somebody. I don't like the way that man of God is talking. You know, they don't pet people. They don't even check on me. You know, they don't even ask of me. You know, have accommodation. Pro now then bring you come Lagos. Anything anybody do for you is a favor. It's a privilege. It's not right. Because before you meet that person, you already have people that is disturbing him. Stop acting as if people are owing you money. Somebody was complaining to me that the pastor called, called the person to ask for, for accommodation money. And the person said, I don't have money now. The pastor was there. So why is it that anytime for somebody? So I, he said, he was asking the pastor, oh God, pastor, now pray you, they pray for me. You know, give me money. Oh. I said, you are correct. Now prayer you pray now. And if you pray, a person don't go work, you go get money. <laughs> The person, if you free frame, the person no go what money no go come. So always learn to know people say they no get. Leave them. As I did here, many people will call me and tell me that I'm, they are related to me. <laughs> you don't know. Somebody that you have never known before, wake up one morning, get your number, I say, hey, Prof Namio. I say, who? He say, ah, is it not my brother, Prophet Nonzo? Praise God. Don't let anything distract you. Number two, focus is also the ability to look at your purpose. Ability to look at your purpose or ability to look at your assignment without blinking or distraction. Ability to know why you are here. To know why they born you. Begin to make a research of yourself. Why am I here? Where am I going? Where did I come from? These questions are very, very important. Take for example, a sniper. You know who is a sniper? Those high are saying that kill people. They always focus on their target. Their eyes is fixed permanently on that small hole glass. Their eyes fixed permanently there on their target. If they blink, their target can shift. Are you with me, church? For the anointing of dominion to work. For the anointing to come on you to work in dominion. You must be focused in life. Focus. Focus. Take for another example. A goalkeeper must be focused on the ball. If the goalkeeper leaves the ball and begin to look at the audience celebrating him, he will miss the ball. Focus. Have you discovered who you are? Your talent, your purpose, your assignment. Focus on it. Stop being distracted. Focus. Focus. Somebody say focus. Are you getting the example? Focus. Another thing I want to say on this focus is stop. Stop looking at people. You always care of other people's problems. You never solve your own. 
you are always looking at people, finding marriage issues. Ha! This is why they come late today. Like I say the husband don't beat them. Mm. Focus on your own wahala. You never pray yourself out. You define other people with a great problem. The Bible says that you should remove what is your own eye first before you start looking for whom to remove from. Focus. Stop carrying other people. You always want to know why this one, they lean. Why he lean? Why he short? Why this? Focus on your assignment. Are you a career person? Focus on your assignment on earth. Purpose why you are born. Are you a businessman or woman? Focus. Are you a pastor? Focus. Help me try, tell your neighbor by your shoulder. Touch your neighbor by your shoulder and say, focus on your assignment. Like I always say here every time, a focused person don't have time to begin to visit people. For this can busy Lagos. Now he go wake up in the morning. Hello, babes. Are you around? Are they your area? This type of busy time, you are looking for where to go. Ah! Be focused. We should not give people that opportunity. Now you don't ask, I want to visit you today. Tell and go and find work. Am I making sense to anybody? Number three, focus is also to bring your attention to the center of the things that you are called to do. To bring your attention to the center of things, put it this way, in order for you to concentrate so that you can get clear vision. Bring your, your attention. Bring your attention to the center of the things you are ordained, you are called to do. So that you can concentrate to get the vision clear. When you are not concentrating, you can't get it clear. Bring your attention at the center. Of the things you are then to do. No one get anything accidentally. No one. Go and check. Nobody get anything accidentally. Life is all about focus. See, there is a place of favor. But favor, don't meet unprepared people. Go to me. You can't tell me, ah, it's a favor. I don't know how it take happen. I don't believe you. You can never be favored when you are not prepared for favor. It is possible for you to get a job in a, an oil company. I can say it's a favor. But for you to say you got a job in an oil company without being a graduate, without having a CV, I doubt you. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. Let's not deceive ourselves and say favor, favor. You are praying, anointing of favor, come on me. Anointing of favor cannot come on you when you are not prepared for favor. It's like what we, what we discussed in workers' meeting today. I, we said ability can take you to the top, but character will keep you there. Are you getting what I'm saying here? If anybody sees you on the road, beautiful lady, wow! Shine, shine, baby. And carry you to manage his or her business. And come back next week. He's shorting 200,000 naira. You are out of that business. Without wasting time with your shine, shine, baby. So you see, the ability carry you to the shine, shine shop. But they cannot keep you there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Favor is for prepared people. Believe it. Stop. Balance your understanding, you know, so you don't get angry with God and say, God, no, they favor you. Balance your, is anybody learning something here now? Balance your understanding. That word, we say favor, 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 favor. If you are not prepared for favor, favor can never meet you. 
even an illiterate person that got married to a king, one way or the other has prepared, even when she's an illiterate, there is something in her, it may be her character that prepared her. So don't tell me it's favor. Then you are not doing anything. You are believing for favor. You are not fasting. You are not praying. You believe for favor. You are not going to school. Favor. Abraham blesses and my no more Abraham troubles too. So you better balance it. If you are praying for favor, prepare for favor. Did you hear the story of Joseph in the prison? When king called him, he removed his garment. Joseph was prepared to meet the king. He was prepared. If he's not prepared, he will not meet the king. So let us begin to get matured as Christians who pray that favor is an unmerited privilege. Who tell you that? Favor is an unmerited when you don't understand it. You must merit it by doing something. It is that preparation that causes you to merit favor. It may go beyond your qualification, but there should be qualification at all. Are you with me, church? The woman that this husband borrowed money from people when he, she met the prophet Elisha. Elisha did not tell her about a good money everywhere. There should be a preparation that will bring money. But the preparation may be small then the profit will be higher. That is where favor comes. Are you getting what I'm saying here? What do you have in the house? The prophet asked her. She said, bust a little pot of oil. So favor can see a place to stand. Are you following what we are saying here? You want to have favor in business. Prepare. You learn how to do business. So when favor comes, you can manage it. Somebody can favor you by opening a shop for you, but lack of knowledge can make the person take the shop away from you again. Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay, praise the Lord. So, you must always prepare. No accidental blessing. Anyone who is focused will enjoy dominion. If you are focused, you will enjoy dominion. I was saying something to a young man on phone yesterday. He said, he used to come here to play instrument. I said to him, I said, why don't you focus every day? Prof, I want to do studio work tomorrow. Prof, I want to start business. Next tomorrow, I want to be a full-time full musician. I said, you are not focused. This is what you have been saying for two years. And you are still saying it because you are not focused. Everything distracts you. You see somebody sing today, you will rush to that church. They will employ you. Again, you look for another place. You are looking for already made church when you are not already made. Somebody built a church. And made it a standard you desire. Then you are not a standard singer. You want to go and sing on the standard platform. You will mess it up. You will mess it up. That is why many of us have messed up a high level of relationship. Because you didn't work on yourself to fit in. You don't know there is a step of kings. You don't know there's, there's, there's a pattern a king eat. You want to be in the palace, yet you are not trained for palace. You will not last in the palace. You meet a big man, no matter how humble a rich man, a big man, a big woman is, once God bless that rich person, life change. It's not pride. 